Aside from learning things. I know, really. You know, you're real pretty. Kind of understated. <laughs> but you got great eyes. You know, I could do this great makeup job on you. Guys go for eyes. Kind of. <laughs> Guys go for what I haven't got. Makeup's not gonna help. Thanks, What's your essay gonna be about? Why? I'm gonna be the first female shuttle commander. <laughs> That's gonna go down real big. And you'll get a kick out of that. <laughs> What's yours gonna be about? I'm gonna do. I want to go into space to contact life forms that exist on chemicals other than carbon and oxygen. You should visit my high school. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so we struck this deal. Like he got me to space camp, and I got me a jeep. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing here? I want to be the first guy to have a fast food franchise in space. Rudy T's. Are you serious? Yeah. Some guy in the space station is going to get a Big Mac attack. Rudy T's gonna be there. Uh huh. So, so uh, that's why you're here. Well, why? I like learning. Some guys in my school, I say, Yo, Rudy, man, how come you taking science? You don't need to be taking science, man. They don't ask me if I like science. Do you like science? Yeah, I love science. Now ask me if I'm any good at it. That's so hot, huh? <sighs> Some things I just can't figure out. It's a bummer, man. <laughs> My philosophy is to sleep late, drive fast, and not take any of this shit seriously. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> hey, Booster Brat, leave me alone! Let me see it, kid. Come on. I like this thing. It's easy. Who are you, the Imperial Guard or something? Come on, kid. What do you got in there anyway? Let's take a look. Hey, what's going on? This kid's got this thing in there. Yeah, we just want to see Why it. Why don't you evaporate, laser brain? Yeah, I'll give you hey, a laser lay off the kid. Let's take a look. Wow, look at that. Holy shit. Shit. Solid waste aboard space station can be handled in one of two ways. Jinx! First Jinx! and third. Cancel! Yeah. Okay, get down. Whoa. What is it? What's it do? Anything you ask him to. Sure moves slow. Hey, yo, Jinx, shake a leg. Don't do that! All right. Oh, man, you mean he literally does what he's told. Hey, Jinx, move over here, buddy. Wait, Jinx. Wait, Jinx. Stop that! Don't do it! Hey, Jinx, sit on it. Take off! 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 Let's get out of here. Oh, it's broken. Let's get out of here. Sorry, kid. Servos activating. Sensor generators are okay. Image analysis are clean. Tractor stabilized. Put your shield on now, Jinx. Don't worry. 
here with your buddy Max. And when I'm done with you, you'll be as good as now. Yo, Jinx! Yo, Jinx! By the time you leave space camp, you will know the function of every circuit on the shuttle. You may never get the chance to fly in it, but it won't be because you don't know how. If you ever get to be astronauts, you're going to thank us for making you wear these jumpsuits because they provide ease of movement and additional storage space in orbit. The cushions of air the zero gravity chair rides on helps you simulate the weightlessness you'd experience during EVA, extravehicular activity. That's the work you'd be doing outside the shuttle. To work in space, you have to know how to move it. Don't push off, Tish. Nothing will stop you unless you're acted upon by an outside force. Catherine, it's your job as pilot to monitor all the onboard systems and feed that data to Kevin, who, as commander, is in charge of the orbiter. You can suit up in your EMU in five minutes, Rudy, once you get the hang of it. EMU, that's Extravehicular Mobility Unit. You're gonna need it to do any activity in the vacuum of space. Catherine, give me the coordinates of the space station at 0100 hours. You have to call up whatever information I ask for in a moment. Split-second decisions are essential. You're traveling at 17,000 miles an hour. There is no room for error. You'll find your spacesuit stored in the airlock. You're on your own there when you depressurize as you prepare to move from the cabin environment into the cargo bay. Okay, Catherine, now it's your turn in the multi-axis trainer. This is one of the most critical tasks to master. Especially if you want to achieve top ranking here as a shuttle pilot. Secure? Okay, you have 30 seconds to stabilize. You go. 30 seconds. All right, start it up. If the shuttle is spinning when it re enters the Earth's atmosphere, the astronaut has just seconds to stabilize. He might enter a flat spin. Keep your head centered. Don't turn it right or left. Push your stick forward. I got it. 15 seconds. You're yawing to the right. Turn it left. Go right, right. Come on, you can... Come on, Catherine. You're not a passenger. You're a pilot. Fly it. I'm trying. You've got 10 seconds. Oh, I'm be sick. Five seconds. Come on. Catherine, fly it! Okay, shut it off. Why'd you stop? I would have gotten it in another minute. Another minute you would have been burnt up on the entry. Come on and get out. We're running late. Andy, I can do it. You're just not giving me a chance. All right. Five minutes. But that's all. Come on, Kevin. OK, next I'm going to show you how to strap yourselves into our orbital huh? exercise. Rudy, you want to go first? Yeah, yeah. A microgravity environment is the equivalent of prolonged degrees. 
No, um, I wouldn't let Andy get to you like that. I wouldn't please her if I spent the rest of my life trying. Well, why do you want to please anybody but yourself? Uh, I'm not an expert, but uh, it seems to me that you just, if you just eased up on the thing, you, you, you could handle it. You know, you're just, you're just trying too hard. Maybe we have something in common. You know, there's this uh, full moon tonight. Wait, you turn into a werewolf or something like that? No, but uh, I know this great place where we could check the shuttle out. Caught breaking curfew. No way. Well, um, if I, if I can handle that, here you go. Say, Max, you got a minute? Now, you've been coming here for a couple of years, right? Um, what's the best way to get to the beach? You gonna ask him? Shh. Distract and destroy the Imperial Guard. Um, Cut ten seconds. All right, uh, what would, uh, what would, uh, Luke Skywalker do? How would he get the launch pad? Kid's gonna go for the droid. Yo, Jinx. Yo, Max. Jinx. What's the best way to the launch pad? Go out to main gate, go to highway, turn left. <laughs> that, um, that takes me right by Zach Bergsman's office. There's got to be some... Is there another way to the launch pad, James? A secret way? Secret! Turn left before Zach's office, turn right at Rocket Park, avoid maintenance building, go east, depending on ground speed, beach can be reached between 5 go minutes, on, 37 talk. seconds, and 15 minutes, 12 seconds. <laughs> Sisters. Oh, yeah? So beautiful up there. I wish it was like that down here. So, uh, you're really into the space stuff, huh? Yeah. Ever since I was a little girl. Yeah? Yeah. My dad used to take me up in his plane and hold me on his lap. Sometimes at night, I used to reach out and try to touch the stars. I couldn't wait to grow up. Uh, what's so, um, what's so special about going up? In space, anything is possible. <laughs> I mean, maybe we could even do things right up there. I don't know. Instead of screwing them up like we have down here. Yeah, but, um, what's the point? I mean, we're all gonna get nuked anyway. Kevin, that's just an excuse for people who are afraid to try. <laughs> hold it, hold it, one second here. It's not that I'm afraid to try. It's just that, uh, I don't know. I just don't care, I guess. Yes, you do. Oh, I do, huh? Mm-hmm. Huh? 